Hey, I'm Dr. Josh Axe and welcome to Transformation TV. This week I'm going to be talking about artificial sweeteners, which are some of the most deadly compounds on the planet and you and your family want to stay completely away from artificial sweeteners. Now artificial sweeteners came about, most of the time they come about accidentally, not even on purpose, but people found they had a sweet, a sweet texture and taste to them. And the most, actually the number one used art, artificial sweetener of the past two decades has been uh, artificial sweetener known as aspartame. And aspartame was uh, first started being used in Diet Coke. And actually they saw in 1981 when Diet Coke was introduced on the market, brain tumors increased with it exponentially. And so they rose in, in, in correlation with it. And that was just one big side effect. Now another study done at the University of Texas found that our aspartame caused kidney damage and weight gain. And so a lot of times you think, well, I'm drinking a Diet Coke or a diet, you know, diet soda. Shouldn't that cause my weight to decrease? Actually, at the University of Texas, they found for every diet soda you drink, your chance of weight gain goes up by 41%. And so, and the reason is, is these are toxic chemicals. Toxins get stored in your fat cells. If you're drinking lots of diet soda, it's going to be stored in your cells and your body cannot burn fat and lose weight. So if you're trying to lose weight, kick the diet soda immediately. And one of the most dangerous things and facts to know about aspartame is what it breaks down into. Actually, aspartame breaks down in your body into wood alcohol, formaldehyde, and ethanol, which are toxic chemicals and they're known to be carcinogenic. They actually cause cancer and that's why you want to stay away from these. There's a great documentary out there called Sweet Misery if you want to get a whole DVD series on this. Again, you're going to want to read up on, uh, again, go watch the DVD Sweet Misery. Another artificial sweetener that is shockingly dangerous is sucralose and it's found in a product called Splenda. Now a lot of people think, well Splenda, I thought that was a health food or I thought it came from sugar. Splenda started out off coming from sugar, but they add a chlorine ion, a chlorine molecule onto the sugar. And so basically what happens, if you're drinking Splenda or sucralose, it's breaking down into your body as chlorine. I actually recently had a patient come into my clinic and they told me about a friend of theirs who had just been hospitalized for three days for chlorine poisoning and the doctors told them it was from her using too much Splenda. She was actually using cups of Splenda in her baking and sweetening and actually found that again it caused chlorine poisoning in her body. So if you are doing Splenda, again, plan on or just know that it's chlorine. You're dumping, it's like drinking chlorinated water. It causes cancer. You want to stay completely away from these artificial sweeteners. Now places you're going to want to look for these artificial sweeteners and the names you're going to be looking for Top two names you'll look for are uh, sucralose and aspartame. Now, if you ever use protein powders, you've got to look in your protein powders for these. Number one, if you're drinking a diet soda 99% of the time, it's going to have sucralose or Splenda in it. And even things like cr Crystal Light and a lot of the different sweeteners out there, you're going to find, again, they have these artificial sweeteners in them. You've got to read your labels. You do not want to bring this stuff in. I'd rather someone, honestly, I'd rather someone drink regular sugar then do artificial sweeteners because they're neurotoxins, they're to uh, toxic chemicals. Now here's what you want to do instead. You want to switch over to an all natural sweetener, something like stevia. Now this is personally what I use, but stevia is a all natural sweetener that comes from the herb of a flower and it's no calories. And so it's not going to cause the added weight gain. And so I'll add a little bit of stevia into things like berry smoothies that I do. If I want to sweeten something up a little bit, again, stevia is a great option, all natural. Some other things you can do, you got to be careful of the sugar content, but raw honey, grade B maple syrup, and things like coconut nectar are other good options and fruit. But that's what I'd go ahead and stick with when you're doing the, uh, when you're trying to sweeten things up. Again, if you want to do no sugar though, stevia is the way to go. And there's a lot of all natural products coming out that you're going to find at natural health food stores that actually contain stevia. This is the way you want to go. So remember, action steps for the week. Get rid of all the artificial sweeteners. Get rid of the aspartame. Get rid of the sucralose. Switch over the stevia and the all natural sweeteners. It may just save your life and a friend. Hey, if you like this, Think about the people you know who are at work or at your church or the places you go to who are addicted to diet soda and tell them about this, spread this message. You may just save a life. I'll see you next week.